Today, I am sharing some new healthy recipes you need to try. These easy healthy meals are so delicious, good for you, full of yumminess, but they're also gonna be very nourishing for your body. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing we are making are these cauliflower wings. And guys, I do not know why it took me so long to make cauliflower wings. So we're starting off by whisking up one egg that's gonna help make the coating for our cauliflower. And then I'm taking some tapioca flour, but you can also use arrowroot. I find either tapioca or arrowroot really coats the cauliflower the best as opposed to any other one. And this is a great thing to make as a side or if you're vegetarian and cauliflower is great for you because it is loaded with choline, which is good for your brain. It's high in fiber, it's lower in carb, and it's a great way to add a lot of flavor to something that may otherwise not have a ton of flavor. So you're just gonna dip it into the egg and then dip it into the tapioca and this is going to create a really nice crispy coating on our cauliflower you can definitely add in some seasoning into the tapioca mixture i am going to be adding a sauce on over top but definitely if you want some extra flavor add in salt pepper garlic powder paprika anything you want into the tapioca flour so while those are in the oven, I'm going to make a nice sesame sauce. So I'm using some coconut aminos, which is a really great staple. It's loaded with inositol, lower in sodium, and just tastes delicious. It's a healthier option than soy sauce, and definitely something I recommend in your kitchen. And then some ginger and garlic, both of which are really great for the immune system, have lots of nice flavors, are warming, antibacterial, antifungal, and then a little bit of tapioca in there, which really helps to make it nice and thick and kind of coats them as it cooks so you get a nice flavor onto the outside. So once you toss them in and then you bake them for another five minutes and you have these wonderfully crispy cauliflower wings. Next up, we are making some tahini fries. And guys, the flavor of this is so delicious. So I'm starting off by cutting up a large sweet potato. Sweet potato is really great because it's loaded with beta carotene, which is what gives it that really amazing yellow color. You can also use a Japanese sweet potato if you'd like, which is more white, um, or even purple sweet potatoes if you find those at your local grocery store. But especially right now, potatoes are a great thing to have on hand because they keep really well. They last a long time, a lot longer than greens, for example. And sweet potato is a great complex carb that's better for your blood sugar as opposed to grains. So it's a great little more starchy thing that you can add to your diet that's loaded with vitamins and minerals. I also like to keep the skin on my fries because there is just so much nutrients in the skin. Just make sure to really wash your potato first. So once you've tossed it in the avocado oil, you wanna lay them on a single file on your baking sheet. I'm seasoning mine with garlic powder and a little bit of Himalayan salt. The key is to have them single file. If they're on top of each other, they're not gonna get as crisp. So definitely make sure that they are have enough space between them. While they're in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and make our tahini sauce. So if you don't know, tahini is actually ground up sesame seeds. And sesame seeds are really high in methionine, which is an amino acid that we need for our health that is really good for you. To that, I'm adding in just some freshly squeezed lemon juice as well as some garlic powder. You can definitely do fresh garlic here as well. You just might need to blend this as opposed to stir this if you don't want the chunks of garlic. And depending on how runny or how thick your tahini is, I find the beginning of the jar is really runny, but the end of the jar is quite thick. You might need a little bit of water to thin this out to your desired consistency. But I find the tahini dressing on top of the warm fries is so delicious. I finish it off with a little bit of parsley for some greens and some flavor, and it's so yummy, so decadent, and it's got a great Mediterranean feel, and it's a great way to step up regular sweet potato fries. And then we are making some delicious fish tacos. So I'm just taking a white fish. You can use cod, haddock, tilapia, anything like that, and seasoning it with a little bit of paprika and a little bit of garlic powder. And then I just cook it in a pan for about three, four minutes per side or until it is just cooked through. 
While that's cooking, you can get your wraps ready. I like these grain-free keto ones. Um, they're lower in carb, and they're really nice and pliable, so I love this brand in general for all of my like keto or grain-free bread wrap needs. I'm mashing up some avocado, but you can definitely also use guacamole if that's what you have on hand and putting that in the base of my taco. And you can definitely add in whatever you want into your tacos. I'm keeping this really simple because I find right now simple recipes are where it's at. So I keep it simple with just a little bit of avocado in the base. And I find also the avocado kind of acts as a barrier between the fish and the wrap. This goes for all wraps and it helps to prevent it from becoming soggy. So this also works for chicken or for beef or for tofu, whatever kind of tacos that you like. Always put the avocado as the base. So once the fish is done, I add that on top and then I'm just adding in some red cabbage for a little bit of crunch and color. You can also add in coleslaw if you want or some herbs, some hot sauce. Definitely add in some lime juice. Lime, I feel, really pulls it all of the flavors together of the avocado and the fish and the cabbage. And honestly, this comes together so quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed these new healthy recipes that you need to try. They are the perfect easy healthy recipes and easy healthy meals that you can make and they taste so good and you don't even realize that they are healthy. I'm obsessed with the cauliflower rings and with the fries and also with the tacos to be honest. So let me know which one you want to try first down below and I will leave my last healthy recipes video here on the screen so that you can watch it after this video and make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more healthy recipes that taste just so good. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.